to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to talk about how to multiply and divide rational expressions. So what's a rational expression? It is an expression that has variables in the denominator of a fraction. Okay, we're going to try to simplify these. Now the first step, the first thing we want to do is we want to factor. So I'm going to take all of my terms, all of my trinomials, and factor these. So the top which is called the numerator, I'm going to factor into x plus 5 times x minus 2. Okay, the denominator or the bottom, I'm going to factor into x plus 5 times x plus 3. Because you always ask yourself what multiplies to 15 and adds to 8, or what multiplies to negative 10 and adds to positive 3. So that's how those factor. I'm going to do the same thing with my second expression. I'm going to factor these. So it multiplies to 6 and adds to 5, and that's x plus 2, and x plus 3. And then the denominator, what multiplies to 4 and adds to 4, x plus 2 and x plus 2. So once I get everything factored, then I get to do the easy part. I just start canceling, canceling out common factors. Anything in the numerator can cancel with anything in the denominator. So I can cancel this x plus 3 with this x plus 3. I can cancel this x plus 5 with this x plus 5. And I can cancel this x plus 2 with the x plus 2 on the bottom. So what's left? Well, I have an x minus 2 in the numerator. And that's one binomial. And I can I'd have left in the denominator x plus 2. So there's my final answer. Now these don't cancel out because a binomial can only cancel out with an identical binomial. This one's x minus 2 and this one's x plus 2 and those values are different. And the way you can check it is pick a number. For example, if x is 10, 10 minus 2, that would be 8 on top. 10 plus 2, that would be 12 on the bottom. Those two values are not equal, therefore you cannot cancel them out. Now, the other part of this problem, so we have to state any excluded values. So what we want to do is go back to the original problem and look at our factors. Whatever the denominator is, we've got some holes or some, some what we call excluded values. Anytime you have a zero in the denominator, that fraction becomes undefined. So we have to look where these factors are equal to zero. So the first one is x plus 5. Where is x plus 5 0? Where x is negative 5. So that's an excluded value. In other words, x cannot be negative 5. The second one is x plus 3. That's my second factor. So my excluded value would be negative 3. So x cannot be negative 3. And my last one would be where is x plus 2 equal to 0? Where x is negative 2. So x cannot be negative 2. So negative 2, negative 3, and negative 5 are my excluded values, and my final solution is x minus 2 over x plus 2. So let's try one more of these, but this time we're going to look at division, okay? So we're going to use the same, same process. We're going to factor, and we're going to cancel. But since this is division, what I have to do is I have to keep, change, flip. Take my second fraction and flip it around. So let's factor the numerator first. So I have a 2 times x plus 2. My denominator of the first term is x plus 2, x plus 3. I'm going to change this to multiplication, and I'm going to take the reciprocal of the second problem. Now I'm going to go ahead and factor it into the reciprocal. So this numerator goes to the bottom, and it becomes a 3 times x plus 1. And on top, I'm going to have... Um, x plus 3 times x minus 1, because that's what multiplies to negative 3 and adds to positive 2. Okay, now I get to cancel my factors. So at this point, I can cancel out an x plus 3 with an x plus 3, an x plus 2 with an x plus 2, and I'm left with 2x minus 1 in the numerator and 3 times x plus 1 in the denominator. And those are different factors, therefore I can't cancel those. And there's my answer. Now let's go back and look at excluded values. Excluded values are anywhere your denominator is zero. So we need to look and see where did these factors, 
where are these factors equal to zero? And the first one is where x is negative two. The second one, x plus three, that's where x is equal to negative three. Now, this one's a little tricky. So we have to look at the denominator of the original problem. That's these two factors. So where is x plus three equal to zero? And that's where x is negative three. Well, we've already accounted for that one. And the last one, is where is x minus one equal to zero, and that's where x is one. So my excluded values are negative, or positive one, negative three, and negative two. And my final solution is two times x minus two, one all over three times x plus one. Hope this video was helpful on simplifying rational expressions.